Hi all, welcome to another round of Lucy's unboxings. Uh, I have another Poptario box for you guys this time around. Um, I admit I am totally in love with Poptario's mystery boxes. They are always different each month. Uh, I do kind of wish some days that I got paid for it, but you know, that's just like a dream job sort of thing, being paid to unbox this sort of thing, but anywho. Back to the box, it's this little boxy here, uh, sounds like there is like something like a teacup almost, don't know how you'd describe it, but it's like, uh, like a breakable item it sounds like. As to if it survived the transport, well that is the ultimate question. Australia Post is not exactly kind to a lot of packages. So what do we get? Yep. We've got white tissue paper. It's usually something different each time. We have Secret Life of Pets Pop Gidget. Uh, there is rumour that there will be a sequel to Secret Life of Pets coming out at least in the next couple of years. Um, first one, not too bad. Pretty good for a film about pets and what they get up to. Then we've got... Aha, so this must be the March book box. I thought on one of my previous videos that it was the March box, but it was actually the February box. So that was my mistake. I just kind of can't keep track of the months half the time. It's like when these boxes come in, it's like, a new day comes through and it's like, ooh, what do I get this time? So, the books you get this time are Matthew Riley, The Secret Runners of New York. I read uh, an excerpt of uh, this book uh, about a week ago. It seemed interesting. I was actually going to pick it up from the library, see if I liked it, maybe even buy it myself, but as usual, I don't actually have to buy it. <laughs> It seems anything I consider ends up being put into the boxes. And there's also The Alchemist's Secret by Scott uh, Morani, hmm, which looks interesting. Apparently it has terror, thrills, and conspiracy. And looks like it comes with other books, like it's a part of a series so that'll be an interesting one to check out when i get around to it i do have a fair number of books on my to read pile uh let's just put it this way i have like a cubed shelf four uh like three of those are full of books then i've got a uh like a table ta a side table all the drawers in that are full of books and then my wardrobe is full of books too because I ran out of space in the bookshelf. Well, the three bookshelves that I've got, I've run out of them. Uh, I've run out of bookshelves down in the garage because that's where I've had to store some books because I'm, again, out of, completely out of room. Not much I can do about that. I just kind of find it hard to part with my books. Or any book for that matter. Any, okay, so the last part, which is the heavier part but it is also the one that sounded like it was breakable i wasn't sure if it was like a tea set or something but um let me figure out how this opens let's see uh, let's see no not there does sound like something has moved and broken in transit. This so will be interesting to see once I open it up what this is and if it is actually still in its usual state or if it has broken. Let's see. Look for this tape. Oh, 
a memory jar. Huh. Keeps a jar for recording life's special moments and memories. This will be something interesting. On the back it says, Memory jar is designed for recording life's special moments, memories and milestones. By recording these moments, no matter how big or small, your memories will never be forgotten. The memories you've collected will be held safely inside your keepsake jar for you to reflect upon, helping you remember, cherish and appreciate those special moments. And it contains... So, the, uh, so no wonder what I... So it's not actually broken, it's just that the... What do they call them? The pen and the memory cards are what I could hear rattling around. So if I shake it, I can hear that going. So yeah. So that'll be interesting. Let's open it up and check out those little labels in the card. If I can pull them out. Okay, well, it goes in, it doesn't exactly come out. It doesn't, oh no, it comes out, it's just the wrong direction. So, little pen. And then the memory little cards. So that'll be a fun one to make use of. Huh. No, would not have thought of that. Well, I guess that that's it for the March book box. Uh, yep, that's. Uh, wait, no, not everything. Missed one bit. Ooh. What is this? Okay, sorry. <laughs> Let me just put them away. So this little thing. Let's see. It is. Oh, cute. It's a little necklace with a key on the end. If you guys can see that, sort of. Eh, let me just move my finger. There we go. You can kind of see it. So, hmm. It's an interesting. It's got a, what I'm assuming is meant to be the four leaf clover. Or at least four clover leaves. So, that'll be cool. We'll put that in with my small collection of jewellery. Hmm. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. Uh, possibly getting another box of something. Uh, if not, I will see you guys at Gold Coast Supernova. Until then, bye for now.